In this problem, we are to complete the table below. For example, in the first row, they give me a problem in symbolic form, and I am to transform that into expanded form, such as this. Then I am to write a sentence regarding factor language, which I'll explain in a minute. It'll look like this. And then finally, I am to evaluate the problem given. And then in the other problems, rather than giving me the symbolic form and asking me for the rest, they may give me either the expanded form or the factor language and have me fill out the other three blanks in that problem. So for example, three squared is the symbolic form that really means that you have two factors of three. So this really means three times three. So I will type three and then I will use an asterisk, which is shift eight to get a multiplication symbol, and then another three. And if you want to preview your answer just to see how the computer reads your answer, notice it uses a dot, the pretty print version of an asterisk, and this should work. In the factor language, because the threes are being multiplied, we call each of them a factor. So what you have is you have two factors of three. So you would actually type the words two factors of and then the word three. And then to evaluate the problem, since three squared simply means to take three times three, that answer would be nine. Now in the next problem, they give it to me in expanded form. They say that negative three is being multiplied by negative three. The right way to do this is to put the negative three in parentheses, then hit shift six to get that caret key to raise the power of two. So I'll press two. And this means that the negative three is the base and that is what you're supposed to be multiplying by itself. And then the language would be that instead of having two factors of three, for example, you have two factors of negative three. So I will type two factors of negative three. And to make sure you typed it correctly, you may want to go over here and scroll to the left and reread it. Two factors of negative three. And you must check your spelling. You would not want to get the problem wrong because of misspelling a word or two. Then to evaluate the problem, the easiest way to do this is to look at it in expanded form. Three times three is nine, and the signs are the same, so the answer would be positive nine. Moving to the next problem, they give me the factor language, the opposite of two factors of three. So here would be two factors of three. You'd simply have three times three. So I'm gonna type three, and then again, shift eight gives me the asterisk and then I will type three again. So what I've written here, three times three, would be two factors of three, but what we want is the opposite of that. And all I need to do is click to the left here and insert a negative symbol. You can get a negative symbol on your keyboard by pressing the button just to the right of the zero. In symbolic form, it would be fine to simply write exactly what we wrote before, so I'm going to click in the answer box, except this time I won't have the parentheses. If you write negative 3 caret 2, again I get that caret, which is shift 6, which means I'm raising to the power of 2, and I'm raised to the power of 2 just by typing 2. Because I did not put parentheses, it is the equivalent of writing parentheses here and here, which means you are to take two factors of three, which would be three squared, and then after that, you want the opposite of that. So this is the opposite of two factors of three. So whether you put the parentheses or not, it should come out the same. I'm going to change my answer back without parentheses to show that they are not necessary. Now to evaluate my problem, you could think of two factors of three giving you nine, and we want the opposite of that, so you would take the opposite of nine, or you could think of it as, since the signs were different, the answer comes out negative. And my last problem, I have the opposite of negative three squared. And just to talk a minute about what that means, is that I have the opposite of negative three being squared. So you could start by doing negative three squared. And negative three squared means negative three times negative three. So if you wanted, you could copy this negative symbol down 
and simply say that negative 3 squared means negative 3 is being multiplied by itself, and we would have this to write in the expanded form. So going back to Math AS, in expanded form, I'm going to copy the negative, and then to indicate that negative 3 is being squared in expanded form, that means that negative 3 is the base, and the fact that it's being squared means that I have two of them being multiplied together. We don't want just the two factors of negative 3 because of the negative symbol out here. That means we have the opposite of two factors of negative 3. So I will type the opposite, watch your spelling, the opposite of two factors. If you want, you can use this sentence to guide your spelling and your wording. This says the opposite of two factors of three. I want to say the opposite of two factors of negative three. So my sentence will be exactly the same, except I want the word negative in front of the word three. So far, I've typed the opposite of two factors. So I have to write of, and then here's where I write the word negative, and then three. And then to evaluate the problem, I think the easiest way to do that is to look at the expanded form negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9, but we want the opposite of that. In fact, let me switch over to this so I can show you. Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9, because 3 times 3 is 9, and the signs are the same, so the answer comes out positive. But then I must copy this symbol down, which makes the answer negative 9. So back here, I'll click in this answer box and type negative 9. Once you are convinced that your answer is correct, you should scroll down and submit your answer and make sure that you get green check marks next to each answer box indicating that what you've written is correct.